SpaceX is on the verge of changing the course of space travel by launching the tallest and most powerful rocket in the history of mankind, the Starship. Just what's so special about this rocket, and when is it scheduled for launch? Keep watching to find out. Musk's Big Plans SpaceX has been working on the Starship since 2014 in a rocket construction facility in Boca Chica, right near the Gulf. Musk envisioned the Starship as a reusable transport system with the ability to carry 100 people to Mars. Sending people to the Red Planet has been the tech billionaire's longtime goal, and the Starship helps realize that dream. Since the Starship's main purpose is to transport people to Mars, it has been designed to be a step up from other cramped space vehicles. There are three sections. The lowermost section is going to be occupied by the Raptor engines and the six vacuum engines. Above that section is the fuel tank, with the massive propellant tanks which are separated from the cargo and crew section by the common dome. According to the estimates, the length of the crew section will be 17 meters with divisions into six different levels. Things like rovers and life support systems along with the ground elevator are expected to be stashed on the bottom most level. Level 2 is for the science and storage. It will be fitted with the International Standard Payload Rack System, which is a steel framework container that's also featured in international space stations. Crew members will also find medical bays here. The next level is going to be dedicated to facilities like the gym and the bathroom. Crew members will be required to exercise for two hours daily in special zero-g conditions to maintain their physical fitness. For this purpose, the Starship will be fitted with six multi-use zero-g fitness machines. What's more, this level will also have four zero-g personal hygiene cubicles. The cubicles will be right next to a water recycling system since water is a precious resource on a rocket. Level 4 will have the crew quarters with 20 pods in two tiers. Each pod will feature a privacy shutter and interactive display. Though the crew pods would not be as roomy as many people might expect them to be, they will feature a pull-out bench and a table to allow two people to share a meal and sit down for a chat. What's more, the rooms can be fitted with special lights that change color to simulate day and night. Level 5 will be the common area for passengers to interact with one another. It's going to be the social heart of the ship. The current methane header tank is located at the top of the rocket, so the top level will not be as spacious as the rest of the floors. Called the flight deck, the level will feature 10 crew flights with 5 display control screens. SpaceX will be adapting the design from the current Crew Dragon capsule. The entire body is made of stainless steel and is capable of lifting 150 tons to low Earth orbit, making the Starship more powerful than Saturn V. Right in the middle of the space vehicle are propellant tanks that supply the Raptor's engines with methane and liquid oxygen. Fuel Oxygen functions as the oxidizer, while methane is the main fuel. Together, the combination is called methalox, which is not the choice of fuel in most rockets. However, SpaceX chose methane for its unmatched ability to generate plenty of thrust. What's more, Musk believes that the gas could be easily synthesized using the Red Planet's surface water and carbon dioxide in the air. The process is called the Salvator Reaction. Sustainability The Starship was designed with sustainability in mind. That means that, unlike previous rockets, the star system is meant to return to ground, so the principal hardware elements can be flown again. The Starship can be refilled with propellant and then be launched again in record time. With this move, SpaceX is able to reduce the cost of the entire project. How does launch work? When launched, the entire rocket will ascend towards orbit. Once it enters space, Super Heavy will detach and fall back to Earth's surface. The rocket will be making use of something called grid fins. These steel structures are attached to the sides of the boosters that will help move the rockets towards the launch pad where it can be launched again. On the ground, SpaceX engineers and crew members will be operating a pair of steel arms to catch the rocket. These arms will extend out from the launch tower, Mechazilla, named because of its uncannily resemblance to a creature from the Godzilla movies. Refueling On the other hand, SpaceX has plans to insert the upper stage into a parking orbit in space where it can be refueled with propellant. The rocket will dock with another starship that's circling the Earth. The second starship will act as a propellant depot. By refueling the Starship in space, the rocket will be able to make the entire journey to Mars. According to Elon, the rocket will be stuck in low Earth orbit if not refueled. The Starship is said to play a big role in NASA's Artemis program. The program's goal is to transport humans to the moon. Launch Date The Starship is yet to take off the ground. SpaceX has been running test flights for different prototypes over the years. 
The company ran the first test in 2019 on a 39-meter test prototype called Starhopper. SpaceX then launched the Starship Serial No. 8 in 2020, which exploded on the launching pad. However, the FAA has now cleared the Starship for a test flight. The Starship will all be set to take off on April 17th, but due to some technical issues, the launch was postponed to April 20th, 2023. Unfortunately, the space vehicle's first orbital test flight called the Starship Integrated Flight Test was not a success, as the space vehicle exploded less than four minutes after liftoff. What's in store for the Starship remains to be seen, but knowing Musk and SpaceX, they'll be quickly able to bounce back from this small hiccup in their grand mission of changing the course of space travel. That's all for today. Until next time.